Analytics and today I'm going to show you a new set of tweaks and settings that will help you torrent download faster. So just follow the tutorial and put in the settings. Previously I had made a couple of videos on uTorrent settings for my other channel which have worked for many of you. However, there may be some for whom these settings might not have worked properly. So these are an absolutely new set of settings which are 100% workable. So without delay, let us discuss the settings right away. Now first what I'm going to show you is the kind of speed I am clocking on uTorrent after applying these settings. So we are going to go to a particular website which is called the Kickass Torrent and uh, uh, this is the particular website from uh, normally from where I do download my torrent files and uh, uh, we will select uh, Jurassic World 2015 here which is uh, absolutely the latest movie and uh, what we need to check here guys is the kind of seeds and leeches that a particular torrent file carries. Now, if your torrent file does not have an adequate number of seeds and leeches in a good combination, you will not get the desired speed. So the health of the torrent file is of immense importance when you are going ahead and downloading a torrent file. So I'm going to click on this uh, Jurassic World here and uh, uh, I'm going to click on download torrent so it gets downloaded on my desktop now I am going to start this torrent file on uTorrent now let's see the kind of speed I am clocking on uTorrent now my normal internet connectivity speed that I have is 1 Mbps and you can see that my download speed is already clocking 8.4 Mbps here. So that's a very good download speed with the kind of internet package I am in. So it's now gone up to 9.4, 9.5, it's clocking out, it's hovering around that mark. So now you can see that it's gone up to almost, it just touched 10 Mbps, it's now 10.1 Mbps. Let me discuss with you the kind of settings that I have done here on uTorrent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the options here and under options I'm going to go to preferences. Now under preferences I will come down here to connection. Now under connections you see the port I have used here is 46532. Now this is the port that works best for me. Now kindly note that this port works best as per the country and region you reside. So I am giving you a couple of other ports you will find there in the description below and which you might strike in and get the best result. So uh, for me it's 46532. There are a couple of other ports like triple one three six double one zero nine two which works best for European countries and you can also uh, go for port five three nine zero six which is again a port which is more prevalent in uh, Asia Pacific Re remember when you're applying a port each time what you need to do is you need to exit uTorrent from the taskbar and start it up again now uh, under connections we will check enable UPnP port mapping, enable NAT PMP, we will uh, uh, check add windows firewall ex exceptions and we will uncheck randomize port each start. Now after we are done with connections we will go down to bandwidth here. Now bandwidth maximum upload rate I will put it at 500, maximum download rate we, do, we want to keep it unlimited so you can put it at zero. You can even put a high number like 9000 that won't uh, really matter but uh, I prefer you put it at zero and under global rate limit options you just tick apply rate limit to transport overhead and you keep these two boxes unchecked now you come down to global maximum number of connections and you put that at 500 maximum number of connected peers per torrent you put it at 100 number of slots per torrent you put it at 8 and you check use additional upload slots if upload speed less than 90 percent now once you're done with bandwidth you go down to BitTorrent here in BitTorrent you just check 
all the boxes that are there except limit local peer bandwidth you keep this box unchecked you go down to protocol encryption it's normally selected as disabled you turn this on to forced and you also check allow incoming legacy connections now once you are done with BitTorrent you leave transfer cap you go down to queuing now under queuing maximum number of active torrents upload or download you keep it at three you don't increase that number to five or six uh, it's, it's best uh, you keep it at three maximum number of active downloads it's three once again minimum uh, ratio percentage you keep it at 320 minimum seeding time you keep it at zero zero and that's it now after you're done with queuing you just leave scheduler remote playback pair device label and you go down to advanced here and you just click on this small plus sign here and you go down to disk cache now want you to go down to disk cache you just uncheck all these boxes that are there now you click on advanced now under advanced I'm going to make a couple of changes here you go down and change BT connect speed now how do you do that you click on this value here you see that the value comes you can put in your desired value say I put in 15 and I click on set so this value changes to set and it is also denoted by an asterisk sign just as adjacent to the value so I'll keep this at 28 oh sorry and select set now you just go down farther and you go down to GUI show no torrent node now by default that's selected here as true you just change this to false now once you're done with this go down farther to GUI update rate now by default it says selected again as a thousand you change this to two thousand now here the net max half open now for my uh, uTorrent, that's 3.4.3, by default it was selected as 500. Now for some of you, it might be selected as 1000. Now if it is selected as 1000, you do please change that to 500. For in my case, I don't need to change that. So then you go down to net outgoing port and you put it at 50 and you go to Peer disconnect inactive interval. Now you change this to one two five. Now you go down to RSS update interval and you change this to twenty. Now that's it, guys. That's done. Now once it is done, you click on apply and click on OK. Right? You see that my four GB file is almost done while I was just making this video. So that's an incredible speed, it's just 5 seconds, 4 seconds left for uh, the download to complete. Now what you need to do is you need to close uTorrent from the taskbar itself. Not from here, but from the taskbar. So you just close uTorrent from the taskbar and restart once again. So that's it guys for today. Hope this tutorial will help you to boost your download speed. If you have any queries, please put in the comments below and I would be glad to answer them. If you like my videos, do please put in your likes and subscribe to my channel. Catch you again in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.